That's us back in business. Sorry for that, guys. We seem to have connection problems, or it might be something else. Uh, we need to get the solid state going. That's it. Remember, you talked about stuff that was solid state. Get that going. That's right, we're watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have everybody back with us, of course. And you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live with a little bit of an outage there. An interruption to transmission. And uh, how are you getting on, YouTubers? Are you enjoying the program? Have I got you a nice, sharp picture here? Let me just see. There we go. See if we can get you a nice, sharp picture for the YouTubers. There we go. That's not too bad, right? We, uh, I need to get myself some digital equipment. If all of you would put a few pounds into GoFundMe.com, uh, Scotty McClue, then we would get the, the proper equipment. Hi, Scotty, says Pauline McConnell. Lovely, lovely to have you with us again. Thank you very much. Sorry about that quick outage there, but we're back. Great show, says James Ridley. It is indeed an excellent show, James. Sorry about the little interruption. Scotty, 70-plus driver should be given, and he names a certain car. So there we are. Dinky Doo, says Colin Brown. Eddie Doby Sr. has joined us. How fabulous is that? Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on the big one. The show is now in two parts, guys. So don't forget that. Scotty, I missed your opinion on the cyclists, says Charles McLaughlin. Yes, the cyclists. I mean, cyclists used to just be people that just meandered about, but now they're going around. One cyclist told me you can get up to 70 miles an hour on a push bike with some of these modern bikes coming fleeing down a hill. So they are. So maybe they should be paying road tax because if you think about it, when there's one of them on the road, everybody else has to swing out, <coughs> pardon me, to pass them. Excuse me there. Just click like that. Oh, roasting, roasting hot summer's evening in the studio here. So there we are. And uh, Stuart Diamond's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. So should we tax the bicycles, guys? That's the next thing we're talking about tonight. Should we tax the bicycles? Uh, why don't you get into STV2? Uh, do you keep in touch with the old Scott FM Real Radio friends of Rab? Yes, absolutely. STV2 announced that they're going to be apparently, allegedly, closing. So there you are. Um, especially 70 plus, says James Ridley. Uh, if you use the roads, you pay, says David Negus. Yes, David, a very fair point. If you use the roads, you pay. What's happening with your back and radio, says Scott Beedy. Scott Beedy, we are uh, meeting with very, very senior people all the time. Because um, if you look, there's a lovely movie doing the rounds about the old Scott FM. You'll see it on Scotty McClue's social media. So there you are. Catch up on YouTube as well. Absolutely. Tax the cyclists. So there we go. Wonderful. We've got uh, the YouTubers with us tonight. And how amazing is that? Fantastic. So there we go. I'm wondering if we can get them a slightly better focus on the camera. Uh, for the YouTubers. There. That looks a wee bit better. There you go, YouTubers. Lovely to have you with us and Dinky Doo, I see. You're watching show number 90 going out on Facebook Live. I'm Scotty McClue, the World Stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Shout out to the car, uh, it says Joseph Green. Absolutely. Tax the bicycles. It's just a cycle they're going through, says Robert McCarty. Very good, Robert. Excellent stuff. Shout out to Aunt Catherine, says Jason Beard. Yes, why not on the shout out show with me, Scotty McClure, Dinky Do. Cyclists should be insured, says Eddie Doby Sr. Well, yes, I like your tie, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Lovely, lovely tie, this. It's um, monkeys all holding each other's tails. So there you are. And Scotty McClure is a Gemini monkey in the Chinese year. Cyclists who insist on cycling on the road despite the fact there's a cycle path at the side of the road. Well, they do hold us up. You've got to admit it's a bit dangerous when you're trying to get by a cyclist. Also, I think there needs to be a lot more consideration on the roads. I mean, I tend to be a very, very considerate driver. Somebody wants to pull out, let them pull out. Somebody's indicating they want to come in, let them come in. You know, all that sort of stuff. You know, have a bit of a duty of care. 
Lost you the first time. I'll say good evening again, says Neil O'Gormley. Hello, says James Nicholas. Yes, Leo. We had a tiny outage, as you sometimes get on this thing. I don't know if it's internet or if it's the platform. But we'll find out. Hi, Scotty. Thanks for the shout-out. I was making dinner. Defo tax them. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed myself at the Clyde Auditorium, says Joseph Gibbons. You would, Joseph? Yes, absolutely. Uh, never mind taxing the bikes. Fix the potholes first. Says Rab Hills. Well, you can't fix the potholes unless you've got the cash, Rab. So you need to get the tax money in to fix the potholes. Sorry, Scotty, if you saw any bad language. My brother stole my phone. Very naughty, says Harry Norris. Yes, absolutely. Now, bad language, guys, just to tip you the wink. I have spent the week blocking people on Facebook who I'm quite sure would like to be friends with Scotty McClue. But they've used bad language. Now, if you use bad language, myself... And millions of others can't resend it round. They can't share it because you've sworn. Do you see what I mean? And intelligent people make a post and then they swear in the post and that devalues the post entirely. They might as well not have made the post. So there you go. Uh, uh, an old, old, old school Scotty government have spent millions on cyclist tracks. So there we are. Scott Beattie says people are never happy. More psychopaths needed. Yes, not psychopaths. So there we go. Do you remember Alan Bezik? Says Joseph Gibbs. Yes, of course I do. I know Alan. I replaced Alan on Red Rose Radio when he went to BBC Manchester. So there you are. I know Alan very well. Uh, give a shout out to Sean Doyle. Excellent stuff. He craves pop tarts. So there we go. Horse riders on the road and other men as practical in the 1820s. Rural Fife, not so practical in today's modern paced fast roads. So there we go, wonderful. There we go. A warm welcome to our YouTubers. Lovely to have you with us, guys. You're watching show number 90, Scotty McClure, live on YouTube as well as Facebook Live. We are multi-platforming. We are growing the show. Help grow the show, guys. If you can spare a few quid, get it into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. Or get it into PayPal. If you go to Scotty McClure's website, www.scotty-mcclure.com, you will see um, PayPal and GoFundMe. And if you feel you've, you've spared a couple of pounds, five pounds, ten pounds, whatever you've got, shove it in there because I'm wanting to see if I can get better equipment. And if everybody crowdfunds it, I can get quality stuff and we can up the show for you on a Sunday night and perhaps even go more during the week. So there we go. Ian Kerr, dinky do more space and lanes for cyclists. The pothole repair, says Alice Blakemore. Brexit, your views, says Tony Richardson. Now, you've asked for my opinion on Brexit, right? And remember, all Scotty McClure's opinions. Hold on a second, guys. Oh, jeez. It's roasting hot in this studio. I have to keep giving myself a wee comfort break there, a wee wipe down. Uh, you've asked for my opinion on Brexit, right? Now, my opinions, all Scotty McClure's opinions, are based on tremendous research, a lot of study. Remember, I was informing, educating, and entertaining you guys when there was no internet. And there was barely mobile phones. But there's certainly no internet, and there's certainly no search engines, or anything like that. So everything came off the top of my head, if you'll pardon the expression, from under the bonnet. Right? So I can tell you... On Brexit, my opinion on Brexit is they cancel the lot. Cancel the lot. All right? That's what I think should happen with Brexit. I, uh, it might be too late to rescind Article 50. I don't think it is. Actually, I can't remember the exact time frame that they had, but just cancel it because it's a complete and utter nonsense. And you'll find that these... Brexiteers, as they call them, will disappear like snow off a dike. They will damage this country beyond redemption. And um, then you'll never hear from them again. You'll say, well, you're not one of these Brexiteers. You don't hear from him. He's gone quiet. Yeah, I love the picture of your dog, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Yes, yes, a fine fellow, the dog. Dinky-doo, he was having a bit of a lion. That's why I shared it with you. Uh, we didn't need mobile phones when we were kids, says Tommy. I know we didn't, Tom. And the kids are on them far too much, more than is good for them. So I think when you're young people, the parents should be able to put the kids' phones on emergency mode so they can call them if there's a problem. But apart from that, they can't go on the phones. 
uh, with you on that, I'm with you on that, says Tony Richardson, well said. Yes, I mean, I think that, uh, I mean, Mrs. May's done a tremendous job. There's a fair bit of obfuscation. We're just about two years down the line in Brexit, and there's not a dish washed or a potty emptied. So there you go. But uh, certainly cancel it. Um, I'm with you, Scotty. Brexit's a pure shambles. Couldn't care if it happens or not. No, but I think what it will do, it will break up Britain and Scotland will go independent very quickly. So that's something rather good that comes out of it. So there you are. If Scotland had gone independent, I must apologise to the YouTubers there for seeing the top of my head. We've got two separate cameras running. They can see me on Facebook Live looking up and every time I look up to the camera or look down, you get the top of my head. So I do apologise to the YouTubers, but lovely to have you with us. I hope you're enjoying the programme and tell everyone about it. Spread it around YouTube. Tremendous stuff. So there we are. Uh, yes, Brexit's a shambles. There's no doubt about that. I prefer independence, as Gary Cross. Yes, I think Scotland needs to go independent now because it's not been properly served by the Union. And also, we're getting a bit of cheek from Westminster. Westminster's cheeking up, um, I noticed, to the Scottish Parliament. Now, by law, by the Act of Union, the two of them are absolutely equal. So it's not up to Westminster to be telling Holyrood what to do. So there we go. Uh, no mandate, says Michael McGregor. No mandate for what? For independence or for Brexit? So there you go. Love your bonnet, says John Logue. Absolutely, John. Uh, so there we go. Now, um, we've got lots happening here. Johnny Barrett, Dinky Doo, come and join us. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet, and we are live on Facebook Live. Can you tell me when the show is in two parts? How come the second part just gets the smaller numbers? Very, very interesting. So let's share. Now, can we go sharing? Share, 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 share. Do you honestly think it will benefit us as we go independent, Scotty? And if so, how? Nelly Davy Cooper McCallum, let me just explain to you. Now, I've already done this. You can see Scotty McClue on independence. I'm not political. I'm not party political in the least. But what I can tell you is if you read the Macron report, now Nigel Farage in his program on another radio station dismissed the Macron report as airy fairy economics. He lost huge credibility by doing that because Mr. Macron is one of the finest economists and he was advisor to the Secretary of State for Scotland and um, ran the Scottish Economic Planning Department. So Mr. Macron knows every penny that's in Scotland. And the Macron report, it had to, the government hid it away because it told the truth about the financial situation in Scotland. Scotland gives over £40 billion a year to Westminster. And they pocket a few billion of that and give us back some pocket money. Now, that's not right. Also, you'll find that culturally, the tectonic plates shift between Scotland and England. So there's nothing anti-English, nothing about that at all. What I would stipulate is the way forward with independence is to go via the crown. Take the monarchy with us. Keep the monarchy. Stop making negative comments about the monarchy because all your negative comments about the monarchy are wrong, right? So the negative things that you call the monarchy, these are just what I would call chippy people who don't understand how the state works. All right. So there we are. The monarchs are the uh, curators of the crown. The two crowns are joined. They've got the Scottish crown and the English crown. 1603, they joined them. So never, ever, ever knock the monarchy. And they don't run away with fortunes. They bring in fortunes. The maximum amount the monarchy cost you is 62 pence a year. All right. So there we are. Scotland's being ruined by staying in the Union. Well, Eddie Doby Senior, it is because Margaret Thatcher asset stripped Scotland as you would do any wealthy business that you took over and got it for a song. She asset stripped it and took the money to London. So a lot of money needs to come back to Scotland. Even if we said, look, let's trial independence for five or ten years and we hang on to our own income. All right, because that's the reason Westminster do not want Scotland to leave, because uh, it's worth too much to them. We are a cash cow in Scotland. 
So there we go. I voted for independence last time, even though I wasn't entirely sold on the rhetoric peddled by the SNP. Voted solely on the view that some change was better than the status quo. Gavin Scott Buck, you are 100% correct. Of course the change is better than the status quo. The status quo is broken. What do you do with something that's broken? You scrap it and you start again. All right. Now, I also don't like when uh, people say, oh, Scotland voted against independence. Scotland did not. Only some people in Scotland voted against it. So it was too close to call, right? And remember, you had the might of the whole uh, unionist media pushing against independence because it's against their personal business interests. Personal and business interests. All right, Francis Basili's watching Dinky Doo. One of the finest lovable lasses you could ever have. Well said, Scotty. The Iron Lady wrapped the country. She did Nellie Davy Cooper McCallum. She absolutely did. No question about that. So there we go. Now, can everybody share Scotty McClure? Share, 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 share. Lovely to have the YouTubers with us, of course. And uh, I know you're getting a bit of a tough end of the stick at the moment, but you're watching show number 90 going out live on Facebook Live. Dinky do, I say, and welcome. Please, can YouTubers start sharing this and we'll make it a regular event, right? Uh, Ian Pugh, Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. So there we go. Yes, Margaret Thatcher asset stripped and that got the Conservative Party a very bad name. So there you go. She made a lot of mistakes, Margaret Thatcher, and she did a lot of damage. And since the Second World War, um, you'll find that that party have done incredible damage to this country because they want 90% of the wealth to be controlled by 1% of the people. Not happening. So there you go. Also, you don't want Scotland to swing too far to the left. So that's why it's so important that we be sensible about it. And very important to keep the monarchy. All right, get that straight. So there we go. Uh, how do you feel our nations been at war with each other all the time? Well, I don't think uh, nations are at war all the time. I mean, I've worked in England a lot. England's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful country in the same way Scotland is. It's just from a point of view of governing. Scotland is to be self-governing. That's the point. Um, I was at nursery when she took our milk, says Christine Garvin. Absolutely. Thatcher the milk snatcher. That's what was going on there. Guys, get sharing and sharing and sharing. Come on as quickly as you possibly can. I'm just going to find out what's going on here. See if I can do a bit of sharing. I'm sure I saw a sharing machine just a minute ago there. Have I got it? Yes. Bear with me. I'm just going to get the sharing machine. And we'll start sharing. Very, very important. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're wondering what on earth you've walked into, you've walked into Scotty McClue, the Scotty McClue Show. How good is that? Now, just bear with me. Uh, if you can all do a bit of sharing, we're getting a bit out of kilter. We're so busy now. We're getting a bit out of kilter with the sharing. This is the thing. And um, I shall get us on here and get a bit of sharing done. Very, very important. Right. There we go. Good, 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 good. And uh, I'm just going to pop this one up. Now, uh, we're also going out live on YouTube, guys. Tremendous as that. So they are Willie Bell. Nice to see you've done it, pal. Says Thomas Hamilton. Dinky do, Thomas. Excellent stuff. And I thank you for that. I'm just about to do the same thing. I'm on another device here. And we'll see if we can get that going. Isn't the social media fantastic? I know we have the wee interruptions. Thatcher the milk snatcher. And they took the kids' meals away. Yeah, I mean, that shows you how little they know about Scotland. We've got poverty in Scotland caused by political austerity um, at Westminster. We've got um, food banks. We've got people really, really struggling to make ends meet. We've got zero hours contracts. So they are, you might as well not have had any trade unions over the piece. So that's what's going on there. Just sharing, guys, if you could all do the same, as I say, that would be fantastic. So there we go. And uh, what have I got here? Oh, there we go again. And we'll see what's going on here. Lovely. That's excellent. Right, get sharing, guys. Get sharing as often as you can. It is tremendous. Right. Um, what have we got here? Slightly off topic. What's your thoughts on dental costs? The pricing 
dentist charge for dental work when you are employed is appalling. It's supposed to be free when you're unemployed. It's no wonder the UK, James Literally, I would love to click. Um, I would love to click on see more, but I can't risk it because we lost the broadcast one time when that actually happened. We lost the broadcast when it came to see more. So there we go. I'm just seeing if we can get some more sharing going, guys. And uh, as I say, you all do the same. Very, very important. Right, there we go. Now, we've got that one going out there. So and I'll just share that one. Good. Wonderful. Right, that's that. Now then, um, Wayne's are starving. They're not getting uniforms uh, washed, etc. Very, very sad. So there we are. Yes, there's always been hardship around in scotland there's no doubt about that but uh, it shouldn't be coming from the people that have been voted in so there you are uh, you're right christine it shouldn't happen in this day and age says gary cross and gavin scott burke food food banks are a national embarrassment we're a hair above being a third world country at that caper yes this is why scotland needs to uh, cut the ties cut the apron strings from westminster keep our own income and say to big companies if you're operating in scotland you must account in Scotland, not in some offshore place. All right. You say hello to the hardworking nurses in pre-assessment unit at the Glasgow Royal Scotty, says John Logue. I can indeed, John Logue. Dinky-doo to all the hardworking nurses at Glasgow Royal and in all our hospitals. Uh, have to go. Always a pleasure, Scotty, says Davy Martin. Davy, lovely to hear from you. And dinky-doo, am I right in thinking you are in the United States? Can we have another share, guys, as quickly as you possibly can? That would be tremendous. So there we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all our YouTubers tonight. I hope you're having a marvellous time, and I'm glad you could join us. Uh, so there we are. Multi-platform, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. All right. When you see me looking up, guys, you know I'm talking to the YouTubers. There, so there we go. Colin Rogers watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us tonight. Now, did you notice that when the show tripped out tonight, the audience numbers were very high? Uh, it's easy to understand Westminster are desperate to keep us. If we cost them money, they'd want rid of us. Every Scot who owns their home through the right to buy scheme has Margaret Thatcher to thank. Well, I don't know about that. The council housing stock fell, you see, so I don't know about the right to buy. Although I must say, people did get their houses. Pardon me for a song. I mean, some people were getting a, a very nice three-bedroom house for about £6,000. Stuff like that. Uh, no, Canada in Sudbury, not far away from uh, the wigged orange coloured guys of Davy Martin. So there we are. Excellent stuff, Davy Martin. He's in Canada. On the train heading south from Inverness to Glasgow and being spectacularly entertained by Scotty McClure, says Phil Simon. It must be hot there, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. It's roasting, Thomas. Absolutely roasting. Um, I'm up in the Shetlands working, Scotty. What a beautiful place. It's hard to believe you're in Scotland when you see some of the beaches. What a lovely place. Well, I love when you go over to Ireland, right down the south of Ireland and see the wonderful, wonderful beaches there. Tremendous. And I remember the Labrador just having a field day, or should I say a beach day. Tremendous stuff. Excellent. So there we are. Can you all see me, guys? Are we still running there? Very, very important. Um, now, who have we got here? Gordon Ritchie. Come and join us, I say. Right, I'm just going to go back on to do a little bit of sharing because time is very, very tight. We've got about 10 minutes. I think, is that right? Tremendous stuff. So there we are. I hope you're enjoying your train journey down from Inverness. Kev Seed, hi Scotty, I'm with my niece Fallon and we're enjoying watching you. Kev Seed, one of the world's great broadcasters in the northwest of England there. Tremendous. One of the best breakfast shows I've ever heard. What about the, uh, what about the foot found in the wash, Kev? Oh my goodness me. I hope you're getting strong and well. And lots of love to you. You're a great guy. Loved working with you. What a privilege. Um, hi, Scotty. Uh, can you say hello to Sue and Amber in Dublin? Says Gordon Ritchie. Of course I can, Gordon. Dinky do to Sue and Amber in Dublin. Hello to everybody on YouTube there. Tremendous to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. 
and uh, we will catch up quite soon. We wanted to multi-platform, so tonight we're on YouTube as well. And if we find out that we have to change platforms at some point, we might do that, guys. It depends on how reliable this one is, because we need to get the show out in one part. This two parts thing is not so good, I have to say, because it means that, uh, that you've all got to double up to see the full Scotty McClue show over the week. All done, pal. You're the top man, says Thomas Hamilton. Dinky do, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us now. <coughs> Is it time for a wee tune? What about a wee tune? Eh? Yes, give me a wee tune, shall I? There we go. We'll pull over the pipe organ. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Who could tell me name that tune? Great to see you back. Got my wife Leslie through her pregnancy with my daughter Robin listening 23 years ago, says John Logue. How fantastic is that, John? Tremendous stuff. Right, if you've just joined us, Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And we're going out multi platform tonight. We're live on YouTube, Dinky Do YouTube, it's lovely to have you with us. And uh, of course, we're also live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. Love it, says Christine Gavin. Did you like that, Christine? Can you name the tune, though? Why can't everyone watch on Facebook? It'd be a lot easier, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely, yes. Everybody should be watching on Facebook. We should have 2.8 billion people. But you see, the way Facebook's business model goes, then they want you to actually pay some more money and what have you to get more viewers. So there we go. And I say, well, look, let's see just how far we can get the show first. And then we can maybe look at paying a little bit of money. Uh, you know, especially if everybody contributes, if we can crowdfund, if uh, every single one of you gives me two or three pounds, every single one of you, then we can crowdfund it and get multi-platform. There we are. Now, uh, I know that tune, Scotty, says uh, Neely Davey, Cooper McCallum. Neely Davey, Cooper McCallum. Can you name the tune? Scotty, I think I'm too young, says Christine Garvin. You're never too young, Christine Garvin. What age are you? Tell us what age you are. Uh, see you next Sunday, pal. Have a good week. Thomas Hamilton, Dinky Day Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. How's the time looking? I say, oh, we've got about eight minutes. So there we go. Eight minutes, guys. And uh, just sent about 100 shares for you, says Tony Richardson. Thank you, Tony. Very, very much appreciated. It's been absolutely dinky do tonight. We did have an outage, which means, guys, the show is in two parts. All right. Um, aye, it's Scottish song, says Neely Davy Cooper McCallum. No, 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 no. You have to tell me what the song was. I'm 32, says Christine Garvin. Well, there you are. You're only a year older than myself, Christine. So you're never too young. Fantastic stuff. I am 31. You'll, you can check it out. Uh, so there we are. So uh, marvellous stuff. And um, if you can all keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Now, guys, this is your show. All right. I know it's got my name on it, but that's just the catalyst. This is your show. This is the big one. And we are going global. All right. Whether you like it or not. Not a thing you can do about that. So there we are. We're going global, and uh, we are global right now. In fact, if you're watching another part of the world from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, uh, then do let us know where you're watching from. Excellent stuff. 
So there we are. See more, says Thomas Hamilton. I would love to see more, but I can't risk pressing that button, Thomas. So there we are. YouTubers, lovely to have you with us. Spread this around. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Live on YouTube, just for you, dinky do. It's a Sunday night, yes. And uh, we have to finish in a few minutes' time. But I hope you've enjoyed the show. So there we go. Uh, God and Elric, dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. Right, have you got the tune yet? All right, have you got that one? I'll give you another wee one. that tune i say sunny bournemouth says neil gormley excellent stuff so two parts it's like coronation street says steve butters i know steve <coughs> how amazing is that two parts but it takes a bit of getting it out there um so there you go i have to say it's better when it's in one part but when the audience becomes massive it just uh you know you see a difference so there we are the high road says johnny barrett yes it's not take the high road so there we are who's that ring who's coming the golden shots i say thomas hamilton so there we are we'll see if we can get him on right shall we see if we can get him on hello thomas dinky do how are you i don't think we'll be able to hear you hang on yeah hold on right can you hear us yes. how's that not, bad. not too bad at all dinky do dinky do the, 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 the body bands of little low and thomas hamilton you are a winner dinky do <laughs> see you buddy <laughs> fantastic so there we are thomas hamilton on there the body banks of loch lomond we like that how amazing is that the technology guys were introducing it all the time fantastic <coughs> lovely so susan copeland power the body back lock card and den says gavin scott but low great show as always scotty thanks says gary cross no thank you gary cross excuse me every second folks lovely to have you with us and uh, absolute top stuff so there you go a guy came on at the start and said he was too old to watch he said he was over the hill i said that scotty says nearly davy cooper mccallum yes you did you did you're quite right you are a winner as well they can do in fact every day the watches scotty mcclue has won something because they're seeing the world's top talk show dinky do now then how are we doing time wise i'm getting a little bit anxious i think it's time we pushed off so there we are lovely 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 to have you all with us take great care of your dear selves and uh, i hope your week goes well join us gwwp god willing weather permitting next sunday at nine o'clock sharp for more shenanigans more interaction with the world as we see it you and me guys uh, can you play come by the hill scotty yes i can i can see when we're mouth but we have to go now so i'm going to sing you the song right are we ready another great show scotty says steve dinky do scotty i stuck a fiver in the best money i've ever spent says charles mclaughlin charles mclaughlin i thank you for your generosity you are a lovely lovely guy if everybody can stick a fiver in Scotty McClure's fund, go to the Scotty McClure website, PayPal, and go fund me. All absolutely secure, and you can do it with great confidence. Stick in a fiver and say, that's for Scotty McClure, who accepts a plaza derision on his merits. And um, how did I do, pal, says Thomas Hamilton? You did very well, Thomas. I'll ask again next week, says Stephen Weymouth. Good night. I wish it was longer, says Susan Copeland Power. Good night to every single one of you. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. 
Goodbye, everybody, of wheat or zane, au revoir and a cheerio. I'll play as I am ready. Dinky-doo folks, Scotty McLean saying, ta ra the